Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Tom Mustin with the latest from Denver 7. Negotiations to end Denver's teacher strike began this morning and will last well until after the sun goes down this evening. The mood has been mostly civil. Right now, our reporters inside the room tell us this could easily go either way. We'll keep watching the situation, give you an update the moment any kind of decision comes down. Well, last week it looked like flu season was slowing down. Tonight is clear that is not the case. New numbers from the state show more than 1,800 people have been sick enough to need to stay in the hospital. That's up 170 from last week. There have also been another two outbreaks reported in long-term care facilities, bringing that total to 20. Children four and under remain the most at risk. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here's a check on your forecast. Windy and mild tomorrow, high of 57, pretty nice. Another nice day, Valentine's Day. Then the hammer comes down. We go to 48 with chances of snow all the way from Friday to Tuesday, the high on Tuesday of just 25. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. And check back here later for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Tom Mustin. Have a great day.